Friday night, best night of the week for poker. Let's get them. I'm just kidding. Wednesday's definitely not the best night to play. I just had to do something to psych myself up. After walking aimlessly around the casino parking lot, talking on the phone to one of my best friends, I decided I'm going to start a challenge this year. Session update, we are up $300 in the game for $300. The first interesting hand that I played, I was a little bit of a donkey in calling this pre-flop raise. There's an undergun raise from a friend of mine, solid player. He goes to $15. We are 300 effective, and there is three calls in between us. I'm in the small blind with king six of clubs, and I go ahead and decide to call the $14 more, as does the big blind. The flop comes ace of clubs, three of clubs, five of diamonds. I check, the big blind checks. Under the gun player puts out a $45 bet and it folds around to me. I decide if I were to hit my club, I'm probably getting paid. So I go ahead and decide on the $45 call and the big blind folds. The turn is the queen of clubs giving us the nuts. I check the under the gun player checks. The river is a king of spades. Most of the time I'm gonna leave this river and try to get paid from an ace. I decide to play coy and I check my hand. He bets $100. I check raise all in, 207, he pays me off. He said that he had ace queen. I like checking the river versus this opponent. He could value bet here and probably get me to call with a hand similar to ace jack, maybe even ace 10. Just taking a quick session break. Got me a French dip with some provolone cheese. Okay, so in this next hand, I have pocket tens under the gun. I open to $15. A middle position player calls, a fun slash whale player calls in the cutoff, and a solid pro calls on the button. The flop comes king of hearts, seven of diamonds, three of spades. I check, middle player checks, cutoff checks, and the button checks. The turn is a queen of hearts, which brings in a backdoor flush draw. I check here, middle position player checks, and the cutoff fun player throws out $35. He could be doing this with a number of hands. He could have a weak queen. He could have any type of flush draw, and he could even be doing this with a seven. The button folds. I decide on a check raise to try and get a queen to fold out, so I re-raise to 80. The middle position player folds, and he calls. The river is another queen. I check, he checks back, and shows ace deuce of hearts. Started 2018 off with a win. After seven hours and 11 minutes, I book a small win of $380. That's not that bad considering the absolutely poor quality of the game. Uh, it started off pretty good. There was a couple guys in there who are pretty fun players, but they didn't stick around too long as they got busted fairly quickly and rode out. Kind of made a hero call towards the end, which ended up being the correct call. Unfortunately, the guy had seven outs and he hit one of them, which is fairly standard. That's not a huge deal. Just happy to get my money in good. I did have one interesting hand that I had texted the poker text group about, and it was me calling a $150 river bet with queen high. So, I'll explain how it went down. I opened middle position after an under the gun limp with queen jack of spades to $18. Uh, we're playing super deep, so everybody at least has 400, I think, is the effective stack.
just hit my camera like the stormtrooper off Star Wars. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, I opened middle position, queen jack of spade to $18 after an under the gun limp. The cutoff calls, the button calls, and the small blind, who is the villain in this hand, also calls. The small blind in this hand is a thinking player. However, once it gets to him, he announces I shouldn't be calling this hand and calls. I believe that that is definitely a truthful statement coming from him. He's not the type of player that would angle in any form. He's telling the truth here. The flop comes 10-9-9 with one spade. He checks. I decide to check. I'm not getting anybody to fold a 9 on this flop. I may be able to get somebody to fold a 10 on later streets. I'd rather just see a turn card considering it's four-handed. The cutoff and the button also check. The turn is a three of spades. Small blind decides to lead out for $60. I decide to call the $60. The other two players fold. The river is an offsuit four. The small blind just snapped $150 in the middle. Here's the deal is he had already announced before the hand, I have no business being in this hand. We really can't put him on any type of suited ace because I feel like he would have never said that with any type of suited ace. I also don't think he'd bet nearly full pot on the turn with a nine. I went ahead and decided to call with queen high. Five. I'll stay. I suggest you hit, sir. I also like to live dangerously. As you wish, sir. Uh, my rationale here is I decided that if I had pocket aces, I would call this bet. And I feel like if you can call this bet with pocket aces, you should be able to call with queen high. That bet is so polarized that he either has a full house or super good trips, or he has a missed draw. He's never doing this with ace 10. He's never doing this with ace four. He's never doing this with ace three. He's never doing this with pocket queens, pocket jacks. It's literally either trips, a boat, or any of the missed draws. Now it sucks that we have queen jack of spades, which is the major draw. I just feel like there's too many missed draws there and not enough value hands. Unfortunately, we get shown the bad news. He has old nine four clubs. Anyways, won't be playing tomorrow night, which is Thursday. Gonna be hanging out with the wifey as I am heading to Oklahoma with Damon, who's one of the dealers and Nick, who also has the vlog channel I've talked about multiple times on my videos. We're all going down to Durant, Oklahoma, to Choctaw. There's a WSOP tournament series going on. I don't ever play tournaments, but they have a $375 buy-in, $500,000 prize pool. So I may get my beak wet on that tournament and hope to run pure and build up a big stack and, and, and cash. If not, I'm sure there will be plenty of cash games to splash around in. Hopefully, uh, we make a profitable weekend. The road to 60K has started off with a win. Let's get them. Goodbye until Monday. Ready, you're going to 17. I had a feeling he's got another fucking 17. 
I think you just, just put his chains back in there. No, I give him the chain. You gave him. Thanks, man. <laughs> Well, that about went as expected. Um, played very shortly and we busted. So, had about two hours of play in, no love.